He gave himself another year. Something was bound to happen before then. The circle would break down, and he would curve the new one to his own will. A new rhythm is a new life, and in it marriage is hung and money. He would be a new man walking through unbroken meadows of dawn in the year of one. The poor peasant talking to himself in a stable door. An ignorant peasant deep in dung. What can the passers-by think otherwise? Where is his silver bowl of knowledge hung? Why should men be asked to believe in a soul that is only the mark of a hove in guttery gaps? A man is what is written on the label, and the passing world stares, but no one stops to look closer. So back to the growing crops and the ridges he never loved. Nobody will ever know how much tortured poetry he pulled weeds on the ridge wrote before they withered in the July sun. Nobody will ever read the wild, sprawling, scrawling, mad woman's signature. The hysteria and the boredom of the enclosed nun of his thought. Like the afterbirth of a cow stretched on a branch in the wind. Life dried in the veins of these women and men, the gray and grief and unlove, the bones in the backs of their hands, and the chapel pressing its low ceiling over them. Sometimes they did laugh and see the sunlight, a narrow slice of divine instruction. Going along the river at the bend of Sunday, the trout played in the pool's encouragement to jump in love, though death bait the hook. And there would be girls sitting on the grass banks of lanes, stretch-legged and lingering, staring. A man might take one of them if he had the courage. But no was in every sentence of their story, except when the public house came in and shouted its peace. The yellow buttercups and the bluebells among the wind bushes on rocks in the middle of plowing was a bright spoke in the wheel of a peasant's mill. The gold finches on the railway piling were worth looking at. A man might imagine then himself in Brazil, and these birds, the birds of paradise, and the Amazon and the romance traced on the school map lived again. Talk in evening corners and under trees was like an old book found in a king's tomb. The children gathered round like students and listened and some of the saga defied the drought in the open tomb and was not blown 